I'm Jenny Eisenhower, and I play Molly Rolston in The Mousetrap. I'm from uh, I'm from Berwyn, Pennsylvania, so I'm in the sub I'm from the suburbs of Philly. I was a little like performer from when I was a child. I used to tap dance in the supermarket aisles and try and get discovered. Uh, and, like I was obsessed with Shirley Temple. So uh, my parents enrolled me in dance classes, and then eventually dance classes led to a couple shows in middle school and high school that I absolutely loved being a part of. So then I went to school for theater, and basically the rest is history. Yes, I have performed, um, my first year at the Walnut, I was in the play Criminal Hearts, and then I was in Forbidden Broadway, which was, uh, which I won a Barrymore for, and it was really, really fun. And those were both in the studio, and then I broke into the main stage uh, the next year, I did Fiddler on the Roof and uh, Fallen Angels. So I've been here about three years, and I love working here, it's amazing. I've directed a couple shows at the Walnut. I did Flat Stanley last season, which was the children's musical about the adventures of Flat Stanley, which is the book uh, about the little flat kid that gets mailed around. That was really fun. And Christmas Carol was a completely different experience just because it was a much larger cast, it was a darker story, and it was also children as well as adult actors. So it was uh, super challenging, super awesome. I felt like I grew a lot as a director. The British accent is my jam because Julie Andrews was my hero when I was growing up. She and Shirley Temple. So I basically just do a Julie Andrews accent. <laughs> so thanks, Jules. I'm not discreet. Like, I will tell everything and I tell secrets and <laughs> I'm terrible. I'm an open book. So this has been very hard to be a part of because I love just like telling everyone everything and I can't tell you who did it. So you have to come and you have to check it out and then you have to keep the secret. So come see the show. Um, I just discovered yoga this summer because I had to take off the whole summer to get married because as an actor you can't really take off like a day or like a week for your honeymoon so I wandered down the street to this yoga center and now I'm totally obsessed with it so I do that um, I like to knit um, I like to bake cookies for people I'm a baker um, and I love um, I just love reality television uh, and terrible terrible shows on the CW so I watch very bad shows while I knit or bake cookies, but I don't do yoga while watching the CW because that would be a little too incongruous. I think that for anybody, it's never really too late for a career in the arts. Um, I was really like, I knew very early that this is what I wanted to do, but there's a lot of artists out there that, that come to it later. So, I mean, the main thing is just experience. So it's like getting out there and just getting as much experience in it as you can. I mean, if it, if it means starting in community theater or it means, you know, taking a class, like the Walnut offers classes, I know, and there's lots of classes in the city, um, and just becoming part of the community and sort of chipping away in that way. I think the best experience you can have in terms of becoming a performer is being in a show. <laughs>